does it friend. for me. <laughs> so, um, but was I correct? We ended with a long rest? I believe so. We yes. Did. yes. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, the next morning comes to you all. A starting to become familiar smell of vegetable stew um, already hits your nostrils as you wake up. Delilah must already be prepping breakfast for you all. Nom, nom, nom. And the day is yours. All right. Probably audible from like uh, from an adjacent room, but there is just there is just a very loud groan from Madrinix's room <laughs> as the smell permeates. I mean, is there a difference between beef stew and vegetable stew smell? Can you tell that difference? Yes. Yes. Shouts on mm. shouts on the other side of the fourth wall. Yes. <laughs> Delilah, that smells delicious. She just gives you a, a warm smile and starts pouring different bowls for everybody. I'm at the table, uh, very hyped for my uh, vegetable stew. I'm excited about it. <laughs> it's pretty good, and I mean, everything is um, farm fresh. So, um, I'm just wondering, do you not eat meat at all? I mean, if we want meat, we go get it, but it's easier to grow. Oh, uh, okay. Hear so, that, if we went. You just want meat? Just um, go out and get it. If we bring something back, can you, uh... I mean, it's not really your job, Forest but, uh... Provides. I cannot find that store to save my life. <clears throat> it's right outside. <laughs> I <forgot> about that. <laughs> um, Tim, Tim, I don't think that's a store. I know, honey, it's fine. I was just making a joke. No, I... Everybody rolls in sight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just had this like weird sensation that Tamberlay's like an inner city kid who's never seen a vegetable before. He's seen a vegetable before. She used to eat them. It's just she doesn't understand why you can't buy food. Oh. Yeah. But I'm learning. Because they don't Everything's a new experience. Ugh. It's like, yeah, that's why gonna can't be a you just problem. go to the store and buy yourself a sirloin steak? She looks at a cucumber like, why isn't this already diced up? <laughs> she knows how to cook, kinda. She goes down to the tavern, pays some money, and brings it back up. Look, she made dinner. It's all hot and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Mama's such, Mama such a good cook. Takes out the frozen meal from the freezer, throws it in the microwave. Right. I'm such a good cook. Pulls out the credit card. <laughs> Alright guys. So, um, after breakfast, Delilah kind of cleans things up. She has her own little section in, the, in this, uh, this main greeting area that you guys have also turned into a dining area. Um, she's got a large chair that sits in the corner next to the hearth and just kind of, when she's not busy, just chills out there. Is it made of iron? No. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> well, uh, shall we uh, kill ourselves a troll? Oh, finally, yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I take it you didn't... There. <laughs> we can also look for some meat for you. Hmm. I wonder how yes, troll that meat tastes. On the list. But the sooner we kill that troll, the sooner we can make our way to the undead. Right. The undead. Right. Yeah, I, I think everybody's yeah, I excited about I'll that, right? Yeah. Elvis' favorite thing. Show us how it's done. Indeed, <sighs> I can't wait to see your prowess out. I... I am so excited. I can't even contain myself. 
I can barely sleep. Well, well, if you're too excited, we could always skip on to another thing. No, 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 no. I wouldn't want to take that moment from you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, how about we uh, go ahead and kill the troll now? Let me walk and talk. I just think it's funny that there are two people praising Halberd, but for two completely different of reasons. <laughs> <laughs> And we head out. Uh, apparently, y'all know the way, because you were scouting last night and oh, no, know how to get there. It. Oh, so what were you doing in the forest last night? Well, we were getting to know each other, you know. Uh, oh, oh. Malcolm, you never told me about that. A little slap and And we walk. All right, which direction are you guys going? North, east, no, what west? We'll go south. Go west. <laughs> north of Marsh is not here. <laughs> We're going that way. Um, it is a quarter of a day northwest. There you go. We're looking for the Root Life Sanctuary. <laughs> All right. Well, at least somebody was. Yeah, it helped. Yes, I was. <laughs> Although half of me really wanted, really now really wanted Earth of Mars to like be our forest guide. It's just like, oh my god, I need this guy with you. <laughs> we must go south. <laughs> but that's oh, south. So. That's what I said. South. All right. So you guys start heading north, west. <laughs> the Root Life Sanctuary yeah. is an interesting locale and the closer and closer you get to it the different trees that you're passing by there's a, a gradient change that ends up happening the forest though decently full of life and and lush it gets more and more verdant the closer and closer you get to the root life sanctuary <laughs> You guys travel about half a day, and you are now starting to seek, as you should be, getting pretty close. And all the trees here have gotten overtly green to the point where it's, it feels unnatural. And though green is supposed to be the healthy color to trees, this it's starting to take an unhealthy glow. But you guys tread on. Let's get a round of perception checks from everybody. Mm, perfect. <laughs> Expected. The trees are green. Yeah. Perception, perception. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Oh, thank <laughs> God. <laughs> See, someone has their eyes open. Yeah. Me and Fez are like, guys, look at all that crap. And you guys are like, I can't well, see. Well, I'm I'm too distracted feeding um Gorm, like little seeds that near nearby or something. Albert, Tamula, and Andre are just watching each other. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, there are a lot of bushes like, down he's here. not watching out for trolls. He's watching out for game to bring back to the uh, to bring back to the the outpost. <laughs> it's like I'll even I'll even eat a squirrel if I have to. <laughs> just. <laughs> Um, just uh, holds Gorm closer and steps away from from uh, Nyx. Alright, so Fez and Malcolm, you guys spot decently far off in the distance, a few hundred feet or so. What looks to be between the different... One moment... Sorry about that. Dealing with a puppy that's trying to eat everything. Nom, nom, nom. Happen. <clears throat> so, um, you guys notice that a few hundred feet out, large pillars of stone interrupting the almost seemingly unendless uh, tree trunks in all directions. You guys get a little bit closer, about 100 feet or so, and you can see that they're split up 
decently far away from one another. The seven pillars seem to be, be in a sort of half moon shape around a central dais uh, stone in the middle. Vines and other sort of small plant-like growths come out of these stones in different sections, and then the small dais in the middle seems to have a very small tree growing out of the middle of it. <clears throat> Pointing it out to your group right now, you guys are about 200 feet away. Okay. Right. So... Troll? No, that dais. That, that's not a, what a troll is. Well, I know that. I was wondering where the troll is. Uh, you know, I don't know. We it, all... Have you tried calling for him? Troll! Jesus. Where are you? Oh, God. There. Your Why intelligence score that? is not that low, however. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I was no, but his low. gullibility score is that high, clearly. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm going mm. to send Gorm up, and I'll um, share his vision to see if he sees anything from his higher perspective. So is he like blind as a bat when this is going on? Absolutely. Yeah. But you don't—I don't think you know that. You're just walking in a direction with no eyesight still. at all. Oh, you just stopped walking. Okay. Yeah, just stop walking for a second. Okay. Um, guys, I think there's something wrong with Halvard. He just kind of stopped. Eh, uh, he'll be all right. I mean, but he ain't moving. He's just I, standing there. He's probably concentrating for the battle ahead. Okay. Or perhaps he is uh, gathering divine power from within. Uh, that, that is oh. a option as well. Uh, sure, yeah. Okay, okay. I start so, slowly falling back to the group. Does Gorm see anything? I'm gonna walk towards the dais also. So, sending Gorm up, <clears throat> he can only stay underneath the canopy. It, like I said, this is a, still a very mm -hmm. thick forest. So, you're not able to get really a top-down view. He's only able to go up eh, about 20 feet higher than you guys stand before mm -hmm. it's now becoming a an obstacle course of ducking between branches and, and whatnot. Mm, I see. But, um, go ahead and roll perception for Gorm. Right. Hold on. You know, I should probably have, like... Stats? Yeah. Um... Oh, I definitely need stats. <laughs> Otherwise, Val can Familiar. make them up for you. Oh. And... Yeah, minus four to everything. Raven. There we go. Uh, and that is perception? Correct. Nine. <clears throat> uh, immediately, Gorm's not able to really sift anything extra out. Um, just sees the bottom of the canopy, you guys down below, sees the stones and the dais uh, up in the distance. It looks like past the Root Life Sanctuary, it seems to get a little bit more open as far as um, tree cover goes, but still not enough for the canopy to be open. Uh, mm -hmm. But there's at least a bit more movement, and it does look like a few trees off on the far side of it um, seem to have been taken out. Splintered bits of trunk kind of shoved and dotted and pushed away and it seems like one or two paths have been forcibly made hey um i see some broken trees over there let's point in the direction um you can see i mean you haven't moved for a while and uh what what's 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 going on with you Ah, Halvard must have extraordinary blind sense. A Master more game is also well, proficient in this. I do have blind sense, but it's not that extraordinary. Or blind sight. 
No, um, Gorm was just scouting for me. Oh, oh. So, which direction? Um, this way. And I'll start walking over there. I'm gonna go up to Fez and, uh, just kind of lean in and say, Hey, um... I heard of this really fun stuff. I mean, I guess it ain't fun or anything, but it's called Poison Ivy. And uh, wouldn't it be funny if we could, you know, find some of that and maybe, I don't know, uh, put some down Halford's pants the next time he, you know, zones out, can't see us. Yeah, do I see any Poison Ivy? Or do I see anything that I could use? Like yeah, go ahead and give me a nature check. Nothing around All here. All you find is this hot, green-skinned woman. <laughs> I look towards her, like, side eye, shake my head slightly. Brilliant. All right. After I make it obvious that I'm looking around. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you guys start to approach. 100 feet or so. <clears throat> um, yeah. The stones kind of st same spot. Nothing seems to really be moving in the woods around you. There is the sound of nature going on still, but nothing standing out as obscene or unnatural in any sense. How big is this clearing? <clears throat> the, the clearing itself is only about 30 feet by 20 feet or so. And you said there's a dais with a tree growing out of it? A very small tree. We're talking like a foot and a half. Can I look at the tree and see if there's anything that I... Yeah, you guys can I don't know. Up. Does it look like a tree? <clears throat> go ahead and give me a nature check. Oh, I'll be real good at that. Oh, yeah. I know exactly what it is. It a is tree. a tree. <laughs> a little baby tree. Big green. <laughs> Interestingly enough, this this small growing tree isn't as green as the other trees around it. So it's a bonsai. Okay. No, it just looks like more of the normal okay. trees you've dealt with. <clears> hmm. <throat> the... Oh, and you were pointing to... I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, there's the, the stone pillars around that do seem to have old carvings into them, but have been severely weathered and probably... The plant growth doesn't help their markings to stay very fresh. They're covered in small plants growing off of it, vine work, and the lots. This place itself seems to be decently floor kept clear, but naturally, nothing. It's not like someone's coming out here and manicuring the lawn. It just seems that besides the stuff that's growing on the stones and in the dais. Um, and the trees nearby, there's nothing really on the ground here besides grass. Um, are there any large footprints? Make a survival check. Uh, I would help her look around for those. Make a survival check. Oh, you better. Oh. Yeah, please do. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm not great at these. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You, you, I broke my you ankle. Found, you found uh, footprints. Nice. Guys, I found something. It looks kind of lizard like. <laughs> Guys? Pretty big. I think there might be more than just a troll. Look at this footprint. You know what? As he's literally right behind you, like... pointing at your footprints. <laughs> Yeah, it is like, yeah, Madronix just casually, like, takes a few steps back and kind of, like, compares them. Mm. It's his own damn footprints, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Shakes his head, moves back forward. Damn, can I try to see if there's any kind of, like, spots for danger? Broken branches, knocked over trees... 
Well, I did point out I think the, already... uh, the giant's trees that have been destroyed and splintered. Yeah, I did point that out. Are we going in the same direction? Or so where you guys like Yeah, where you guys came up to the stones, it's on the opposite side. Looks like a a path was made by some sort of creature through the forest a little bit. Towards us or away from us? Away. Or I mean okay. it's not like all the trees are pushed down in a direction. It's more of just kind of like destruction and then in the wake stuff's left behind. Well, I think Halvard has found our trail. You're welcome. Shall we? Let's do this. So, I'll pull out my axe and be ready with it. I'll be about 10 to 15 feet on the right hand side. Alright. So, going through this broken pathway, um, you see whatever made this wasn't trying to make a path. It seems more of uh, it did what it had to to continue moving forward. As you can see, there are like scrapes and portions of trees that took some sort of hit, but didn't get taken down. Um, so it wasn't some sort of, like, bulwark going forward. Instead, it was trying just to maneuver. Um, go ahead and take you guys over to... And as they're walking by, a girl in a red hood just starts skipping along into the woods that have this... <laughs> oh my god. Go ahead and, um, I believe everyone has access to their characters. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and because drag yourselves down, the in. The path is straight, I know it well. And using the top of the page as your starting point, so let's put ourselves in, in order. Alright. <clears throat> what? And as that, uh, and as that that that, that uh, young girl in the red hood uh, skips by, a dire wolf is sneaking behind it, <laughs> wearing human clothes, um... looking an awful lot like Johnny Depp. So, f f is that you, Fez? You're gonna be all off to the side. Yeah. All right. Our goblin's gonna rogue. I mean, you do you. And then, a la Attack on Titan, the troll appears and punts the <laughs> goblin into the air. So Malcolm's taking point? Yes. All right. Oh, um, th that's the front? Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. This is the front. Uh, I, I did say towards the top of the page would be the front. Oh. Oh, so I'm then, taking yeah, point. This... Okay, never uh, mind then. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. I put myself there because it, um, it was point. Oh, I thought you said just put us, put you at the top. All right. All right. I'll go up here. <laughs> okay. So, All right. everyone going to give me a round of perception checks. Ah, yes, I'll put these the dead people up front. Stuff. That's fine. We're not dead. I'm not We're... dead. I'm not yeah. dead yet. Ah, uh, of course. My rules continue to be excellent. Amazing. Oh, hey. Nice. At least one of us is looking. Hey. Malcolm and Fez have been... consistent? Who needs to be good at perception when you have people who are good at perception for you? 
Especially when they're really friendly towards you. <laughs> and they don't want to mess with you at all. Or when you're in front. Alrighty then, so... One of the front people can see. Alright. So, you guys start traveling, following this shambling path through the woods, looking over debris. Um, Tronix and Fez. <laughs> you guys can see what looks to be giant claw marks in some of the tree destruction that lies before you guys as you're moving through. Fez, you see at one point, especially being a little bit off to the side, that as the group's walking by, above them seems to be another claw mark that goes through the tree, but instead of being about four um, scrapes through, there also seems to be as if something... not only scraped sideways, but started to, it, it almost looks like tree sap had come out of this claw area, but that the tree sap burned away a portion of the tree itself. Sort of like acid? Uh, to an extent, yeah. But you guys continue on. Traveling another... And the path isn't a completely straight one, so there's some turns and maneuvers, and then you guys have to kind of decide, all right, because the, the destruction isn't con constant, um, though usually it's able to, okay, well, there's the next one, and you guys head towards that. There's the next one. But there's one point where you're kind of like, well, where do we go now? How lost are we? Um, not very. Bez, did you point that finding out to everyone or kept it to yourself? Well, he's not with the group, so... Oh, that's right. I have a 15 feet to the right. Dang. Where is that goblin? I can't see a dang thing in here. Damn, bush is too high. Somebody gotta prune these things back. He's over there. Just points his talon to thumb over. <laughs> Where? I can't see... Like standing above the greenness. <laughs> I'm in red. <laughs> I can pop a smurf. <clears throat> what do you need? Oh, I was just wondering where you were. I, I can't see a damn thing in here. I take my staff, put my hat on top of the staff, and put it in the air. I wave it a little <laughs> bit. Oh, all right, all right. I see you now. Like a tour guide through Disneyland. Okay. Right. <laughs> Put my hat back down. <laughs> uh, you also might want to be careful. There was some damage to the tree branches, but it looked like burn marks through sap or might be blood. I'm not sure. Oh, shit. Burn marks. Hmm. No. Don't let any liquids on, on get on you. Oh, thank Fair you warning. so much. <laughs> Fair warning. Um, where were these, like, I was just like, I didn't see it when we were walking by. Um, were they higher up or were they I on a tree I didn't see? Up with my staff. Is it's it? about a good there, 25 feet up. There, 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 25 feet up? Yeah. Oh shit, have we been looking up? Nope. Nope. Oh, shit. <laughs> I will look up. You guy? Just trees? Go ahead and roll perception check. The woods are just trees. The trees are just wood. I sort of need to ask him, do you have a basket that I can put over my head? Because I can't see a goddamn thing? <laughs> um, hmm. Why does this program hate me? Well, um... Malcolm or one of us could probably just, I don't know, give you a lift on our shoulders or something. That is demeaning, and I will take it. 
Well, since you were so chivalrous and decided to volunteer that, go for it. Right. Great. Uh, okay. Um, I uh, step down to my knees. Oh, uh, I guess hop on then. Right. Well, I'm on his shoulders. I'll try to climb on his shoulders. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Hey, I can see Fez and everything. Mm-hmm. So this is what it's like to be tall. Ooh, so far well, away from the ground. It's what it's like to be on a ladder more than anything, but... True. Look down. So, you guys are in a somewhat crossroad <laughs> where you've been following the destruction but then the destruction stops and you don't see any further points of destruction in, in the forest to guide you as to where to go next mm-hmm. um, is there any place that seems like a more open path where like something large could like walk through without like disturbing anything well, like I said before on the other side mm-hmm. of that of the stone circle that you guys have passed the the canopy in the in the forest opened up more. Mm. So now there's plenty of different paths that a larger creature could take without making any marking. Mm. Mm. Does it smell funny around here? Smell funny? Do you Yeah, uh, like um I mean, go ahead and give me a perception check for smell. Calver, move over to one of those gr- those scratch things. And oh, right. I'm going to give it a, a sniff. The old sniff test. Yeah, it, it smells like a tree, really. It's a pretty smelly tree. Okay. With, with, oh, it does smell with then. tree smells, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was just wondering. Oh, shit. Mm. Um, hold on, give me a second. And I'm going to... Um, Send, um, actually, no, it's. I'm not going to send Gorm. I just realized it's probably going to be more than 100 feet, um, before something comes up. Hmm. DM? Yeah. The staff. Did it fall to the ground? The what? The staff that you told me I saw on the tree branches. Did it no, fall it to the ground? No, it only went down, like, um, half a foot from the, the markings itself. Mm. Well, actually, it's better than nothing. So yeah, I'll send um, uh, I'll just pick a random path, send Gorm down it, um, share sight, and um, just send him like in an arc, um, around that like borderline to see if uh he sees anything. All right, give me a perception check with uh, good old Gorm. Are you kidding me? Gorm hits a branch. Ah. <laughs> Gorm. Gorm takes one point of bludgeoning damage. Ouch. Did you roll health for Gorm? Yeah. What's Gorm got? He's got two health left. Right that. Watch out for that tree. I think it's a bit late for that. <laughs> oh, um, nope, can't see anything. I mean, you know what? Never hurts, and it's not like, uh, uh, especially since we don't know, like, uh, what the, what the deal with this specific troll is, but, uh, I guess, uh, Madronix will go ahead and just, uh, pop a divine sense. Okay. Which ones you got? Um, it's just, uh, it's just Celestial Faith Fiend, but, or, excuse me, Celestial Faith Fiend Undead. <laughs> yeah, um, you don't pick up any of that. You're getting a, a decently modicum of Fey presence, uh, from the forest and the trees themselves, but nothing more than you would have ever picked up from a forest.
Mm. Are there any animals around us? Uh, make a uh, perception check. Um, directly around you, kind of looking around, um, as Gorm kind of went up into the trees, hit a branch, a couple of birds flew off in a different direction. And you're getting sounds of a couple of crickets nearby and a little scurrying of something small in the forest around you, but nothing like directly next to you. Like to ritually cast Speak with Animals. Uh, you're originally casting it? Yes, but give me 10 minutes. Right. Um, uh, Halvard is not going to wait that long, seeing that we've reached a dead end. He's going to wait like a minute, and then he's going to walk off in a random direction. I'm going to grab his ears and steer him right back. <laughs> oh, 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 why? Why? Where are you going? Where are you going? Off. Yeah, We're no, sitting no, around that for too long. Yeah, you'll be fine. Try it. It's called patience. We get things, things done by doing and not waiting. Well, he is doing something, so you're just going to have to wait. You know, waiting is technically doing something. Waiting is doing nothing for an extended period of time. Well, let's or just call just... it practice and then. All right. So it's about six minutes in to your ritual cast that those that are paying more attention to you outside things pick up the hint of a vibration in the, fo in the forest floor and then some heavy, quick movement. Uh, maybe 150, 200 feet or so off in the direction that Halver was about to go. Put me down. On on which side of the Doppler are we? From where you guys are currently at. We'll be right about there. This is the path off to your left. Um, this one is big enough for a large creature to move through without causing a disturbance. Alright, I ready my weapon. It wasn't going uh, at you guys, it was crossing. Uh, okay. Um, I start running. <laughs> is it like here? Here? <laughs> uh, forward is the other way. Yeah, Halvard's uh, way. Up. Northwest. Correct. That way. So yeah, I'm going to head northwest to catch up to it. Okay. So, Go ahead and give me a perception check, Albert. Since you've done right. so well so far. <laughs> I ha um, Don't worry, I'm just wasting all my bad rolls. I, I yeah, you so. are. <laughs> you, you start to I have not rolled... I, I really have not rolled above a 10 this entire time. Well, did you ever put Tamberly down? Yes, I got down. <laughs> yeah. I did say that I. Yeah. I said, put me down. Okay. Probably yeah, like not because I think Albert's gonna get it too. Yeah, you like take two steps, hit a small branch that was poking out, and just eat a face full of dirt. No. That's two points of bludgeoning. Uh What are we gonna do with this guy? I get I'm... back up. I say sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> the giant X turns his head, hearing hearing the impact. What happened? <laughs> he was ambushed. The forest betrayed me. Snipers in the trees. <laughs> yes. They were right. The forest does provide entertainment. But we need to get the troll. Albert. <clears throat> Yeah. One second. Not bad when they single you out. Oh my god, they oh my god, they really are attack on Titan showing up. <laughs> you you take Actually roll a constitution saving throw for me. Got oh. it. 
There we go. Finally, good roll. <laughs> So you'd only take seven points of poison damage. Okay. As hitting the floor, <clears throat> what you guys have been thinking is just condensation and mud mixed in with the grass and dirt. As you've been walking, there's actually been some sort of other liquid. And now that Halvard kind of stands up with the searing pain to his face, you all can start to feel the bottom of your shoes have been slowly getting warmer. Uh, guys, this is. Oh my audio. god, what is wrong with your face? <clears throat> uh, I think this is not this is not water. Oh dear, and it, it starts brushing it off. Right. Like is this uh, poison. Like, is like the ground Acid? heating up, or is it more that uh, it's burning away the like bottom of your shoes as you guys have been Dude. walking around. It's not acid, so it hasn't been like mm -hmm. immediately cutting through, but it's slowly mm -hmm. been degrading the fibers and, and whatnot to your guys' boots and such. I warned you. Of what? Don't touch the water. <laughs> I, I didn't know there was water on the ground. I mean, you know where water comes from anyway, besides the skies, the ground? When she says that, I just kind of like open an eye. I, <laughs> Just kind of look at her. I mean, <laughs> so are we gonna follow the footsteps or no, or vibrations? How many more? How much more time until I think does and Uh, was it eleven minutes to do? So five minutes. Uh, can we still feel the vibrations? Nope. Still in the direction though. I mean, the direction that you guys initially saw it. Alright. I stopped running. Look towards the group. Uh, safe assumption that's the troll. Yes? Yes, I can't think of anything else that we'd expect to make that noise around here. I can't. I hope I'm wrong, but let's go find out. Either that or a very large dive. I will just wouldn't make a sound or vibrations. Even at that size. So, well, let's find we're out. off? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Once again, don't touch the liquids. We're walking through it. Alright, go ahead and put yourselves back in any marching order. Alright. Um... Albert's still at the front, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just assume that he's running the whole time, so that's why he's still in front. <laughs> oh. Well, I definitely wouldn't be running, but I'm, I'll stay up there with, with my new buddy, Halvard. Alright. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, you guys give pursuit. Heading further down towards the location where it was seen and felt. Go ahead and give me a round of perception checks. I think I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna do one. I'm just gonna let Halvard take care of this. No, just kidding. No. Perception. Hey, I didn't do good. I did. All right. So Tamerlay and Fez. As you guys, the two shortest people. So look at that. <laughs> As everyone's running and looking forward, Tamerlane and Fez are keeping a keen eye out to the left and right. And it's as you guys are passing, there's a break in the trees off to your left. And you see a large hulking mass of some sort of creature that seems to be prone on the ground, not moving. I will stop. Can I tell if it's breathing? Are you going to stop and find out? or? Yeah, I'm not going to move forward. Yeah, I'll stop too and just kind of keep quiet. If I see them stop, I'll stop. You're in front. Okay, then... 
if, yeah, if I'm not warned, then I'm just gonna keep going. Whisper holds the group. Whispering while everyone's running is gonna be a difficult thing to do. You could certainly try, but I'd have to make everyone run a roll of perception check to see if they can even hear it over the stomping of feet around them and everything. Uh, how about not whispering, but not loud. You're also fifteen Regular feet away, so it's not like you're right next to him. Yeah. All right. How about a bird call? Okay. I'm not gonna stop for a I was, bird call. I was call. gonna say you've not told them once what a what bird call means, so they would have no idea. Shit. They're gone. All of a sudden, yeah. what the fuck? That's a weird sounding bird. <laughs> mm -hmm. hold Ignore a bird control. <laughs> right. I was gonna whistle, but I, I don't I, want it to be loud. But I'll do it anyway. I'll I just guess, whistle. Does Madrinex at least see them stopping? Or again, they're small people, and you're neck, you're you're side with Fez, but he's 15 feet away. Big troll thing out in front of you. Nine times out of ten, you're gonna be looking forward, so you guys don't get. I was just asking because I at least rolled a 15 on my perception check, so that's why I was asking. That was, that was but looking if not, for other things. Yeah, they're not doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if I wave my staff around? I can't see Again, you. Again, running. We eyes in the back of our yeah. head. Yes. You're going to have to be brave here, Fez. You're going to have to brave. do something or be loud. If I see them run off, I'll just whistle. Yeah, I'll whistle too sh sharply. Okay, that's enough. They get five or ten feet out ahead of you guys and then you guys get the two whistles behind you. You just duck behind a tree <laughs> while looking at the body. I don't know if alive or dead or sleeping. Okay. Currently, you're on the other side because uh, yeah, you only guys saw it as you were passing through an opening in the trees. Um, so if you move back to kind of get visual on it, it's still like a good... 50, 60 feet out and beyond a, a, a thicket wall of trees. Um, this far away, kind of difficult to see if it's breathing or not. Uh, oh, what is it? Right. Is it on my side or is it on Tamberley's side? Um, it'd be closer to Tamberley. Okay. Uh, why'd we stop? Um, I, I saw something. Yeah, I'll move into the forest towards it, but I'll Stealth. I'll try to be as quiet as possible. Okay, if you're stealthing, roll stealth. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go over there, but I'm not stealthing. Okay. You don't know where we're going. I don't. I'm just gonna walk that way. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, because there's a, a decently thick bunch of trees right there, so you just start hacking your way through and going in. Mm -hmm. Okay. You end up out on the other side of the thicket of trees and kind of looking mm -hmm. around. There's a, it's a little bit of an opening here, um, another pathway through the trees, and you see lying next to a downed tree, kind of half on, half off of it, looks to be a large creature, 20 feet tall or so, um, mm. that is currently prone on its face. Um, one arm kind of slumped over the, the fallen um, tree and as you guys are all starting to get closer you can see it has large gaping holes in its body like it's starting to rot like it's been here for a while oh uh, this is huh is this a troll <laughs> if you guys maybe closer, check it out see if it is yeah, pretty close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye out okay. for other things in the forest yeah, while they're doing that. Hmm? Um, time really go give me, give me a perception check. Alright, All right, so now, as I walk closer to inspect, is this a troll? Go ahead and give me a nature check. Uh, Malcolm, Medronix, what are you guys doing? Um, uh, why? I think Madrinix's first instinct would also be to look around the area. Give me perception. Yeah. 
Probably be... Yeah, just be keeping an eye out. Okay, you can roll perception as well. Now, so... No, I am. So Tamberlake, go yeah. ahead and... Well, if you guys take... Wait, you said 60 feet, right? 10, yeah. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah, you don't, have to, you don't have to physically move yourselves right now. I'm just saying that where you and Halvard are is on the other side of the trees. Hey, real quick, DM, is it like a pretty thick canopy? Oh, yeah. On the trees? So, like, it's pretty dark in here? There's enough ambient occlusion and light coming into the, the whole area to give it enough of a glow where you're not having a problem with dark vision or anything. Okay, perfect. That, that's that's all I was trying to clarify, because if it, if it was dark, I was going to roll again for disadvantage. Yeah, no worries. So, if you're on the right side of the line, you're, you're through the trees and over where the body is. Okay. If you're on the left side, you're on the opposite side of the trees. You know, we didn't come up with this amazing team name for nothing. I'm staying where I am. Okay. So you're over by the, the dead body as well? I'm going to go and, and hang out with my buddy Halvard and look at this dead body and keep an eye out around. Okay. So, um... Mm. What you looking at, buddy? I don't know. Looking at it, as you guys get closer to the body and checking it out. However, you've never seen anything like this. Malcolm, you're keeping an eye around. Uh, Dronix, you're also keeping an eye on your side of the, the forest and keeping an eye up, as you've been told. Uh, Tamberlay, also keeping an eye out. Fez, it's you that realizes that as you guys get closer, especially Halvard and Malcolm getting there just a tad bit before you, this creature is breathing. Let's go ahead and roll Freeze. initiative. Oh. <laughs> Shit. As Malcolm and Howard, you guys start to talk as you're standing right above it and it's going to make a swing at you too. Hold an eight or a two. Oh, no. <laughs> oh shit, everybody. Sorry. I, I was mean, just enjoying the moment. They're attacking prone <laughs> at least. With them this close, this is just a sweeping attack at them. You say roll initiative? Yes. Um, first one would be at Malcolm. That is a 19 to hit. That's a hit. That is five points of slashing and four points of necrotic. Nine totals. Uh-huh. And uh, Halvard... That is a 22 to hit. That hits. For three points of slashing and two points in a product. All right, so three points total. Yeah, because you're reading the product. Mm -hmm. All right, so as the rot troll takes the swing at you all as you start to come over the top of it, in its movements, hitting both of you, it uses that leverage of momentum to stand up. And as it does so, like little bits of its skin kind of just slaw off and impact the ground around it. As it kind of just looks down at the, the three of you, because that's the only ones it sees right now. And it just stands there kind of, no weapons or anything in its hand, just its claws. Uh, as more and more pieces of its skin start to fall off, and then you see it kind of, like, reform and heal itself. All right. Twenty-five to twenty. Okay, 19 to 15? 19. 18. Oh. Let me make sure you go in 15. Order. 18. It says Tamberlay. Then who? 
has 18. Albert has an 18 as well. Yeah, he's got higher decks. Uh, he has a higher decks. Okay. And then Medronix is 15. Just gonna relax for a little while while you go through some more numbers. And the rogue is an eight. <laughs> no, it's six. Uh, it wasn't an eight. It's, it's an, an eight. eight. Oh, it's an eight. Sorry, yeah, that's right. I have a plus six. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God damn it! The bird is faster than the rogue. <laughs> oh my God! Fourteen to ten. Nine to five. Gorm, and then Malcolm. Oh, this is gonna be god. That thing hit me, and then I was like, "Oh shit!" I think that's alive. <laughs> it, was, it was that like, "Did this motherfucker just hit me? Did this motherfucker just hit me?" All right. So, bringing us to the top of the round, let's move, move maps. I spent my whole turn running, aren't I? Go ahead and pull your pieces onto the board over by the troll. All right. Where's that ugly son of a... Bottom right. No, I was talking about the troll, not Halvard. <laughs> oh, zing. A little bit lower than Halvard. <laughs> That's a solid um, disc there. <laughs> yeah, I'll go. My token that is more relevant to where he actually would be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, buddy. You were right next to Halford. Oh, well. <laughs> you guys were living La Vida low. You were clapping your hands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. We're Brother, holding Why are you running? <laughs> now, um, for this battle map specifically, every square is 10 feet. Uh, yeah. I knew it. All right. So. So that means Timberlake can only move one square at a time. Two. Shut up. Uh, all right. So bringing us, Three, my bringing us to the top of the round. Timberlake, you're up. Yep. I knew it. Through the trees, it's difficult terrain, so it halves your movement. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. This, this is going to be a thing, isn't it? I guess I'm going to waste my entire turn running up to it, and then I will rage at the end of my turn. And that's it. Remember, each square is 10 feet. Yep. Difficult terrain makes it 20 feet. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'll get halfway there. All right. And I won't bother raging, because it's pointless. I mean, wait, hold on, because you could still action dash. I did... 25 maintenance for half length. 25 time? Or. Yeah. I can move 25 feet, period. Because the dashing is double your movement. And then Difficult terrain halves it, though. But she would be technically <laughs> in between both squares. She wouldn't. She's not quite there yet, though. Yeah. My total movement with action dash would be 50 feet, but half that is only 25. But that's there are I, bushes. But that's what I'm getting at. It, it's whatever, I guess. <laughs> Remember, every square is ten feet, so she would only be able to move with her movement. One. But that's like that's like how normal difficult terrain works, though. So it's like you basically doubled it and then halved it again <laughs> if you dash with your action. Anyway, that's as far as she can go. <laughs> Fez, you're up. Your own I'm gonna say, right. Big Red, come on out. It's on the Big Red. All right, pull him out. Big Red's all the way. <laughs> no, you don't. Get over here. <laughs> you can get away from me. Okay. Is that your bonus or your action? 
think that was my action summon. Okay, anything else? Look at Big Red, tell him to get me out of here, and we're gonna poof out on his turn. So I end my turn, and then we poof back 15 feet. And Big Red goes right after you, right? Yeah, right after me. Okay. At least it makes it simple. And uh, he makes a save. Which save? Uh, Dex. 13. Oh, that's a natural 15. Yeah, he's fine. All right. No damage, right? On a save? No damage. No, All right, that ends yours and Red's turn. Bringing us to Halberd. All right. He is going to cast Flaming Sphere right here. Okay. And uh, it has to make a dexterity saving throw. That is a natural 20. All right. Um, then it takes half damage. So then half a seven. Yep, four damage. Mm -hmm. And then he is going to use his bonus action to... Right. Um, no. What? You, you would need to use your bonus action to hit them with the spear. The, the spear doesn't automatically do damage uh, when it's summoned. Oh, right. Let's see, hold on. Ends its turn within five feet. Yeah, it technically didn't end its turn, that's right. Let's see. All right, then, um, yeah, that'll be my turn for now. All right, staying there. Yep, staying there. All right, that brings us to the rot roll. Um, okay, flaming sphere on its ass. Um, it is going to. However, you get an opportunity attack if you'd like. I will indeed. Go, my vicious pike. 23. 23 hits. All right. That is eight points. Eight points of damage. Got it. Um, anybody know giants? I do. Okie dokie. So, um, as the creature's moving and you stab at it with his pike, it kind of snaps back at you and says, Little ones make good food. I was really hoping he was going to say, fuck you in particular. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Can I respond? Oh, on your turn, you can. Okay. All right, and then it's going to do a little nom nom on you and Snow. Yeah. Right. Malcolm, you get the mouth. Because why not? That's a natural 19. That's a definite hit. So that is nine points of piercing. Okay. <laughs> um, and 20 points of necrotic. I am oh down. Oh. Uh, oh. Dear. God. Yeah, he rolled almost max damage. Um, but the other two claws were already called for for Halberd. That's only a 14 to hit. Does not. And oh, another natural 19. Alright, I. Oh, that's a natural 19. Yeah, no, I can't do anything about that. Uh, I think Val found all our good rolls. Alright, so that is. Pff, shit for damage. That is. Four points of slashing. And. Wow. Uh, two points of necrotic. Or nothing for you. Yeah. So 10. 20, 30, 
Yeah. All right. Um, so uh, Malcolm is down currently, and that's gonna end his turn right there, bringing us to Gorm. All right, um, Gorm, since he can't actually attack, um, is just going to fly to safety as um, I don't need him just yet. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and ask. Uh, do do I do I, do I get a turn? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> he does go before Gorn. Yeah. It's like I, I I was pretty sure I beat the bird. Oh wait, hold on. Um, I need to roll to see if I keep the spell up. I do. All right. Sorry about that. All right. Go ahead, Nix. Yeah. That said, there isn't a whole lot that uh, that I specifically can do in this exact moment. Uh, uh, I will... Unfortunately, this is going to be a situation where, like, Madronix just, like, looks down at Malcolm's, like, uh, unconscious body, shakes his head, and, uh... So that's 10, 20, 30, yeah. Um, I guess I'll start putting him putting into position. Um, actually, if he wants to go after him, he'll get to... Putting myself back there for a second. Matronix runs in circles. <laughs> that's I'm just trying to... Because, like, of course he would decide to move. Uh, <laughs> all right. So then, yeah, Vajarnix will spend his movement going there. Um, he will use his action. Well, those last two squares were difficult terrain. Well, I, I moved only uh, three squares regardless. Okay. And remember, each square is ten feet. So technically. Oh, okay. I think I I think I understand the confusion yeah. that was happening earlier. Okay, because okay, so each square on the yeah, map is a ten is foot and, square, and also yeah. And then if, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's where we were all getting mixed up. Okay, I, okay, th okay. I recognize where that was now. Uh, in which case, give me ten seconds as I realize that my wireless mouse has now run out of power. <laughs> <laughs> While he's doing that, real quick, um, these tree lines, that's where the difficult terrain is? Correct. Okay. Yeah, once you're out of so it. So I can get out of it. Yeah, once you're out of it, you're fine. And you're. Well, while he's looking for that, this battle not brought to you by Dwarven Forge. <laughs> <laughs> um, technically, for you too, Temperley, uh, you have. Because you you have 25 feet of movement, using your 5 feet will get you into the next square. Okay. So you're pretty much like right on the edge of the forest already. I still can't make it. I can make it over Malcolm's body, but that's not going to help me much. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. <laughs> She's just going to drag her axe behind her as she walks over you. <laughs> I wish I could make it. Oh no, you got castrated. Who would have thought? By the way, be careful when... Actually, since it is 10 feet, it should be fine. Um, but just don't enter the same sphere as the space, uh, um, same space as the sphere. Well, since the troll's not there, I will not have a problem. Well, within five feet of it, that's the, that's yeah. the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can't, you can't occupy, you can't occupy well, yeah, the but, sphere but space. But since the squares are 10 feet, you would technically have to go into that square to be affected. Mm -hmm. I think... <laughs> I think this is where it originally was. Um, yeah, because Tanderlay was yeah. two squares below. Yeah. All right, then. So, so then there is five or ten feet. Yeah. And then. Difficult train. And then this is essentially all of it. Uh, if I'm if I'm understanding correctly. Yeah. So now. that takes twenty. That yeah. That one square is twenty feet of movement. 
Okay. So in which case, uh, you know what? My Drynex will go ahead and use his action to uh, to bless uh, Halvard, Tamberlay, and himself. Okay. Blesses are out. All right. And unfortunately, that is all I can do because I'm not at the level where I have cool bonus actions. At least, not when the enemy is so far away. Anyways, end turn. <laughs> After that, uh, ending Nix's turn. Now we have Gorm, who's just gonna fly away and chill. Chill, yes. Um, Malcolm, go ahead and give me a death save. I'm gonna drool a little bit on my turn, guys. Uh, death save. <laughs> Boom. Nice. Now I get a good roll. And uh, that brings us back to the top of the round. Fez, since you have kind of poofed off in this direction, you take a moment and you hear something behind you. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Clever girl. Go ahead and uh, give me a perception check. I sigh, look up, say, fuck, slowly turn around. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Up in the trees, long claws and a bloated belly moving towards the top of it, not really giving you any sort of look but staring off in the direction of where the battle is happening you see another troll pustules lining different parts of its body as well as just being overtly bloated it's almost effortlessly moving through the tops of the canopy in the trees heading in the direction of the battle that is it notice me if it did it doesn't seem to care about you Fantastic. Holy it's shit. Directly, Is that above me? Yeah. <laughs> it's directly above you and it's still just heading towards the group. Alright, that ends its turn. Bring us to Tamberlay. Oh god. I don't see it. Do I see it? Not yet. Oh shit. Uh, okay, I well, can't then... see shit until my it's turn. Only Fez's, <laughs> it was Fez's passive perception that picked it up. Okay. Um, so I'm at five feet. Yep, so you, now you are. He said it's not a typical stream. So, and then 15 over his body, 25. I will rage and go at this thing. Okay, go for it. I hope. I hope. I hope. 16 to hit. 16 just hits. I did something. Also, don't Thanks. forget your blesses in case that stops hitting. Not you. much, though. Oh, though. oh no. Uh, that is unfortunate. Four points of slashing damage. Four points of damage. Add your, add your rage and damage. I did. I did. Oh, okay. And does that activate on a bonus action? Uh, it activates when it I rage. When Yay. Yay. And five points of lightning damage. Roger that. And that's my whole turn. All right. Any time we turn brings us to Fez. Uh. Robert on deck. So, yeah, is this regular? Like, this is not rough terrain, right? This is yeah, just regular just terrain. Yeah, that's the between the trees. I'll move the troll off so you can pick up on the road. Yeah. I'm gonna hit Scorching Ray and shoot that troll. The one above you? <laughs> one right above me. All right. And you said it's 15 feet in the air, right? Uh, this one is 20. 20 feet in the air? All right. I'm gonna start shooting anyways. Go for it. Three times, right? Yeah, three times. Correct. Um, 
one that is hit, hit, and miss. I'm going to scream out as a group. Before you do that, since it is directly above you, I'm guessing it's dexterity. <laughs> um, the first one that hit, that's eight points of poison damage. And then the second one that hits is two points of poison damage. As you start to impact this creature, and blood and liquid pours from the wounds that you create. And since you're directly underneath it, it it usually would only be people who are closer, but you're directly underneath it, so... Yeah. So, ten total? Correct, for you and Big Red. Oh. It looks down now. I bet. Oh, no. I think this is the part where you run. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at... <laughs> So, let's see here. I have 30 speed. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Tell Big Red to teleport to me. Okay. At the end of your turn, Big Red does so. Yep. And zerps away. Alright, then ending your turn. Yep. Uh, with this brush in front of me, can the troll see me? Or can I see it? Well, those aren't bushes. Those are trees. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so you're seeing that. So, though you're seeing the trees and the treetops, they're, they're technically way up in the sky, and this creature is under the canopy. So, unless you're hiding behind a tree specifically, it can still have decently good visual on you. Alright. And my turn. Alright, ending Fez and Red's turn brings us to Halbert. Right, so um, the orb shall again smash into the um, To do so would take down. it over Tamberlay and Malcolm. Uh, could I just like move it from Every 10 like, foot squares. Up... Yeah, it has a movement of 30 feet. Okay. So you're going to try and sling it around? Yeah, so just <laughs> curve it around. Like there, there, and then do it. Yeah, like that. Okay. Uh, deck save? Deck save. And also, because it doesn't normally come up, but it's probably relevant here, the, the orb can't actually jump over uh, five-foot obstacles without impeding the rest of its movement. Tiny Tamberlay. Uh, that is a 11. 11, that fails. So it takes the full 2d6 of four damage, which is the same as... Alright. All right. And then, um, as action, I'm going to cast the um, Booming Blade cantrip. Alright. Alright. Uh, so first, that would be a hit with Vicious Pike. That's a miss. And plus... Roll a plus. D Roll a D4. <laughs> That's a hit. 16. All right. Yeah. For 10 points, 10 points of, of piercing damage. And it is enshrouded in um, the thunder. Gotcha. Welcome to the thunder. Okay. Uh, ending your turn there? Yep. All right. And the turn brings us to the Zerat Troll. Oh. Actually, um, could I um, talk back to it since I was planning on doing that? Okay. Alright, I'll say, careful, this food bites back. It's no longer looking at you. It's looking up huh. and behind you. Could I turn around or is that too much? That's too much. Alright. <laughs> you want to give this thing your back? Nope. <laughs> you sure about that? Alright. 
I am. <laughs> so, uh, ending your turn brings us to the rough troll. Um. Yeah, he's gonna run. Oh, then he takes the d8 damage. Um, yep. Let's see. Uh, give me a second here. And then Tamberlay and Halvard, you both get opportunity attacks. That is six points of damage. And for the attack of opportunity, that is 21. It's. It's. 20 to hit. For eight points total. Maximum damage! Nice. So 15 points of damage. Alright, and it's running. It's using its action and its movement. All right. Where are you going? He's booking it. Uh, ending its turn, bringing us to Nyx. Uh, yeah, the dry Nyx. Frustrated that this creature's running away, <laughs> but these things happen. Definitely faster than he can move. He's going to uh, yeah yeah so that is 20 feet 30 feet he is going to roll his eyes as uh, as he is going to to like start laying his hand onto the body of uh, um, on the body of Malcolm, the rogue. and as you're doing so, and as, and as he's doing so, the uh, uh, the brand on his hand starts to to glow a hot red, and as he puts it onto your body, it actually like burns, but you do regain 15 hit points. <laughs> yes, I heal you by damaging you. All right. And also, unfortunately, your your mouth does taste a bit acidic. Salsa in the back of the throat. Yep. All right, uh, that your turn next. Uh, yeah, that'll be it for his turn. All right, bringing us to Gorm. Gorm just chilling. Yep, Gorm just chilling. Right, um. Literally, you're up. So that one's running away. Yep. I don't think I would have noticed that one yep. yet. Um, let's see, yeah, I'm gonna stand up half my movement. Okay. Um, and I'll kind of take a look around, I guess, and try and get a gauge of my surroundings since I was taking a nap there for a bit. What happened? Yep. You see the path that the um, rock troll took through the forest. Uh, this little area right here is no longer difficult terrain as the trees have been cracked and pushed apart. Well, and that's my a turn. Flaming fireball in front of you. Oh, all right. Okay. Turn brings us to the other troll. You hear it? Oh yeah, as it's gotten closer, you guys can also now see it okay. as it's making leaps between the larger openings between the two tree, the different tree lines. 
Um, and now that the rock troll knows that it's there, it's not trying to be stealthy anymore like it was earlier. But that's going to end its turn. Tamberl, you're up. Oh, this is going to be good. I am going to move my half movement. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. 10, 20. And then you said that uh, this area is no longer difficult terrain. I'm just going to, like, if I move up here, would that be in the trees, kind of? Yeah, so out of that box. Uh, okay. The tree lines are apparently I'm going to drop my rage and I'm going to move right up here and just watch the show. Try to stay out of sight. Okay. Any time for turn, Fez, you're up. Calder on deck. I'm going to... Move over here and just your tour. Big red to follow me. Okay. And it's going to dash instead of just poofing. Gotcha. All right, Halvard, you're up. And yep. use my action as a dodge. Well, how many spaces did you make? All right. Remember, they're 10 foot squares. I'm Oh. Oh, there we go. I moved four spaces. Okay, so you used your action to dash then? Yeah, use my action to dash. All right, cool. I'll drop. Right, so, um, I see this, um, troll now, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, hmm, let's see. Halvard being Halvard is going to bonus action Misty Step. Okay. Right here. Ten foot squares. Yep. Uh, Misty Step is... Wait, is it 30 feet or 60 feet? 30 no, feet. 30 feet. 30. Okay. Let's see. Um. Yeah, then he's just going to run there since it's just as fast, I think. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, and he's going to action dash to do it. Let's see. Um, unfortunately, cannot. Oh, I can bonus. Wait, oh, no. Yeah, I can bonus action. Um. Oh no, not if I haven't attacked right. So yeah. Um, I'm just gonna be right here, and I'm going to yell. I do not remember giving you permission to run away. Okay. Uh, As Tamberley just rolls her eyes. Okay, Rachel's just going to attack you since you've run up to it. Uh, first one is a 18. Um, shield. Okay. Second one is a natural 20. Uh, third yep. one is another 18. Alright, so first and third one miss. Um, nat 20, I'm pretty sure it hits. Yeah. Um, and re remember, I am immune to crits. Correct. You still take... 13 points of slashing damage. Oof. Ouch. Because you're immune to necrotic, so that's not needed. Mm -hmm. um, so it kind of bites, hits the shield, slap, slap, only one cutting through, and then is going to try and use the still, so go ahead and get an opportunity attack. I can't use my reaction. Oh, for shield, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, you... Uh, it might not matter to you, but uh, uh, you might want to roll concentration. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Still have it. Alright, ending that, bringing us to Nyx. Gorm on deck. 
Madronix is starting to get really frustrated now as everything is just running away now. <laughs> <laughs> Five, ten, or, you know, you know, ten, twenty, yeah. thirty. <laughs> uh, and I guess he's saying, like, uh, if this, this other troll is going to keep pursuing the other troll or not, I guess, and just end his turn. Okay. Any night form still chilling? Uh, Gorm's going to fly over to, um, uh, uh, Halvard now. Okay. Uh, bring us to Malcolm. All right. This is all diff, uh, it's all difficult terrain between me and this troll, right? Yeah. Not all of it, just the okay. ones that have the trees in it. Okay, okay. So, do you have ranged weapons? Ish. I have daggers. As dagger, a, dagger. As a good rogue should. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, might consider investing in a short bow in the future. Might. A short bow that shoots daggers. Yeah. Um. 20, 30, 40, 50. Those. Um, well then, then, I'm gonna run up to the troll, because that's smart. And that, um, that purple square, um, the, those trees have been knocked down, so that's just regular terrain. Oh, so 10, 20, 30, 40, it's only 40 feet away, cool. Um, so, move, yeah, 10, 20, 30, 40. It's also 20 feet up in the air. No. It's running along the, the canopy. Malcolm mm. can't get a break. I mean, you do have a sword. I, I mean, know. that can eventually just kind of go as high or as far as it wants to. Yep. So, Malcolm, are you going to swing your sword? I mean, yeah, I guess 1d8 plus 1d8's better than nothing, right? So, I'll come over to there, um, and I'll throw my sword up in the air and attack it. Oh wait, no, I can't do that because it's a bonus action. I mean, you and could have used your action to dash instead. Right, but regardless, then I'm stuck there. And it's not going to do anything. So. So you're there in the circle, um, basically? Uh, oh, you, you uh, it makes an something. attack on the bonus action. It says on the first paragraph. Yep, I know, I just read through it. So, yeah, okay, then I'll swing at it. Swing okay. Awesome. And there you go. Unfortunately, no sneak attack damage, but still. Yep. Alright, All right, so ending your turn there? Yep. Luckily, you're not directly underneath it, so you don't take that damage. Okay, ending Malcolm's turn. The other troll is going to continue on. And it's going to make its leaping attack. That hits. Um, this troll flies out of the, the canopy, landing upon the rotting troll, taking it to the ground, and as it, like, stands pinning it to the floor it just unhinges its jaw and just lets out this 
gurgling mess of liquid that starts to pour over the rot troll. Uh, let's see. Attack, Sounds like a turf war to me. Looking seriously fucked up after that, but it's still hanging on. Okay, but that is going to end its turn. Tamberly, you're up. Yay. Um. So, out of that, that's 10 feet or five, or difficult terrain. Um, coming out of it, you're fine. It's only 10 feet. Okay. 10. 20. Um. Thirty, forty with action dash. I must stay back. I don't want to get splashed on or anything, but I do want to watch and make sure. Okay, it's time That's my turn. Time Fez, you're up. Albert on deck. You're starting to have a hard time keeping eyesight on what's going on. Yeah, all right, so five, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Have Big Red follow me. Okay. And my turn. After that, however, you're up. All right, so um, first bonus action Dragon's Breath on Gorm. Okay. He's currently on your shoulder. Yep. Okay. Um then I'm going to action, let's see. Let's send a chromatic orb at um the rot troll. Or not yeah, the rot troll. Alright, is it a save? Uh no, it's a two wait, is it? It's an attack roll. Okay, yeah, attack roll. All right, go for it. Uh, rot troll or the oh, that is not good. Rot troll. Okay, well, he, rot troll is currently prone, so it would have been disadvantage anyways. But that oh, makes sense. okay. Yeah. All right. Although, are we are we assuming that you have the material component for that? Oh wait. I, I don't... Right, right. No, never mind. I can't do it then. Um. Sorry, I forgot about that. Then I'm just going to uh, magic, oh, yeah, magic missile. Well, whatever you guys started oh. the game with, I would say you have the component. I, I said last time you had the components to do the spell twice. Oh, okay, okay, then. Okay, okay. Then yeah, then um, then we'll then we'll go with the chromatic orb. Okay, but it misses. Okay. Yeah. All right, and staying there, ending your turn. I am going to. Mm, I'm going to move up over this way, then this way. Okay. Sounds good. Tim. Um, any havoc to turn? Rot troll is up. Nick's on deck. Uh, Rot troll is going to try and break free. Succeeds with an at twenty. Gonna make a couple attacks. That's a miss. That is a hit. That's a miss. Okay, it's able to get one claw strike in on this creature, um, and he's going to move a little bit. All right. Uh, any of the Nick's here. Uh, on deck. Yeah, just uh, continuously playing this game of cat and mouse. <laughs> things happen. Ten. Teen. Uh, okay. Uh, still too far away. <laughs> I can't even do a javelin with this. <laughs> I mean, I can, but 
Disadvantage. Uh, Alright, so I need to turn uh, Yeah, I guess I guess so I just don't waste my action. I might as well take the dodge action and end my turn. Okay. And he makes turn Gorm's up. Now come on deck. Yep. Alright, Gorm is going to fly over to I'll say um this spot right here. Um and they are going to use a flame dragon's breath on um the rock troll. Okay, what's the uh, range on that? Uh, the range is 15 feet. Cone. Okay. Deck save? Deck save. That is 17. Alright, that passes, so it takes half. Hey, kid, I'll go back to bed. Alright. Fire... And go lay down. So that is four so points of fire damage. Go lay down. Okay, ending more turn. Mm -hmm. Now you're up. Um, sorry, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna grab my sword, get as close as I can, and attack the thing. So, uh, because I've got. Uh, bonus action at movement that gets me 60 feet which should get me right up next to it from where I'm at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 uh, give me an acrobatic check just to see if you can get around Tamberlay okay I can girl, do that she's got a big axe <laughs> mm. that's easy enough to do insert your own joke here um and then uh I will uh da, 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 da. where is it I should ask you if there's no other creatures that are within five feet no. well the idea is like allied creatures so yeah please, no, no, no. you clearly aren't friends <laughs> yeah I was just making sure that I had the verbiage correct um and I will attack it, it. with the sword I mean either that or they're having a marriage spout <laughs> <laughs> yeah it seems plausible right now so, bitch. Uh, come on. Come on. That is a miss. Nope. All right. Okay, any Malcolm's turn? It brings us to this troll. Uh, Malcolm, you'll get an opportunity attack. Okay. Uh, or it's you. <laughs> <sighs> Likely no one's directly around to hurt. But the creature moves uh, up. It is. I mean, you still hate to see it. <laughs> going to. That's a natural 20. Yeah, even the minimum damage will kill it. So, you guys see as this troll runs up behind the rot troll, grabbing it by its like longer hair that it has, kind of pulling it back as you're starting to see like the scalp give way. And almost as if like this troll's gonna get out of it because how much skin's getting pulled but just enough this troll behind him just pulls his head back to him and just opens its mouth once more breathing down this liquid upon the troll as the head gets completely rotted away comes clean off and you just see the troll turn around towards you all as it's starting to eat on the rock troll's head As you see it chewing on the head, it's going to use other action to consume. You see this creature get ever so slightly bigger, and some of those scorch marks from earlier seem to be healing. But it's going to. So this guy's dead. Oh, he was hungry. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's going to get there. And... I need... Da, 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 da. Halvard, Malcolm, mm -hmm. and Tamberlin. All to make constitution saving throws. Alright. Fifteen. 
Two. Plenty. Oh. Natural one. Ouch. Uh, Halberd, roll a d4. Oh, right. I forgot bl bless apply to this. Sixteen. Timberlay's the only one that passed. Ah, that's a shame. <laughs> I think this might be me down, depending on the damage. Okay. All right. D8s, that's what it needs. Sorry, it sounded like you said D8s. I think you meant D8, right? With an S at the end. <laughs> Mm. Uh, mm. Um, this creature takes some damage from what it's about to do as it's mm -hmm. finishes consuming the head it takes its its own claws and rakes down its throat and upper chest as this liquid then pours out and splashes all of you so it oh god and those that failed, you take so it's 19 points of poison damage and then halved to 10 for Tamerlane. Okay, so I was going to absorb elements, but even then I would still be down. Me too. Alright. God damn it. Okay. But that is going to end its turn, bringing us down to Tamberlake. Did Fez not go? Fez is after you. Um, I'm first. I, I, oh, are we at the top of the round right now? Yeah, you, you have been. Yeah, this this <laughs> troll is actually before you. Oh, I okay, 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 okay. Um, am I within hitting distance of it? Yeah. Okay. Then I will go ahead and rage. Okay. Again, and attempt to hit it Arr. with my X. Seventeen to hit. Oh, nice. Um, 13 slashing and... Five lightning. Good hits. As you do so, a bit of this acrid yeah, liquid spurts out. You, Malcolm, and Halvard. Yep, that was part of that. Three points yep, of poison. That's what damage. I thought. So that's one death fail for each of you two. Well, yeah. shit. Well, at least it was only one. I thought it was going to be two. No, it's only on a uh, melee. It's only... Yeah, melee. Oh. So right now, this troll right here could decide to erase either of us from this lifespan. Yeah. Luckily, a term just got finished. Anything else, Tamerlane? Oh no. No, no, I'm I'm very good where I am. Thank you very All much. Right, you're up. Uh, okay. Healing word on help. All right. Five points. Yay. Then I'm gonna have big red dash over to here. Alright. And it's turn. And is he ending his turn. Albert, you are up. Mm -hmm. So that's all you? Oh, okay, it's my turn. So um going You're to Misty up. Step as a bonus action, right next to Nyx. Okay. Uh hey, um, Sorry. <laughs> well, God, I'm a bit roughed up right now. Um, 
And let's see. So, well, my concentration is down, so there's no longer that. But I am going to um, go. At, I'm going to yeah, use uh, chromatic orb again. All right. Wait. Wait. Think about it. No, that might. Actually, you were unconscious. Yeah, no. You don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Right. So, so chromatic orb. Yep, chromatic orb away. Is it bad that we want this to miss? <laughs> All right, yeah, no, that's not a miss. No reason it's not this. <laughs> that is not a miss. That is not uh, a miss. Um, that is going to be... Um, yeah, I'm going to make this one lightning. Just for the funsies. Okay. I'll, I'll add that failure right now. That's three points of poison damage to you. <laughs> that is 15 points of lightning damage. looking hurt do i see it happen now oh yeah you do oh shit oh my bad um okay so misty chromatic any movement or are you staying there i am um let's see i'm staying there there's not really anywhere for me to move to, right, that brings us to Nick. except for farther that brings us to Nick. oh by the way yeah. gorm took all that damage too gorm's Okay, Gorm's out. Well, shit. No, Gorm! <laughs> Nyx, you're up. Uh... I just want to recognize that I, the player, am not trying to be an asshole specifically toward this other player. Just for warning. No, 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 uh, I, honestly, I, I completely expect your character to be like, fuck that guy, he doesn't even call me by the right name. No, 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 it's, it's, no, it's, it's more of a, it's more of a different thing as what I'm about to say, like, turning his head over to, uh, to Halvard. <clears throat> I mean, I knew he was the weak link, but I didn't think this weak. <laughs> oh. And. Fair. He's gonna like, you know, fuse, because I think that's still going through trees, but that's still enough to get him there. <laughs> yep. Uh. Uh. Actually, wait. Am I even? Am I even close? Yeah, you're close enough. I mean, like, like close. Okay. Yeah, because it took you five feet to get. So you could. You're technically like in between, but yeah, you're close enough. All right. Um, and when he went down, he kind of I, flopped, so his arms are outstretched. Uh, yeah, so Medrinix is going to use his action to, you guessed it, <laughs> but not as, but not nearly as good. Uh, he's just going to like reach his hand over again, burning the sword into your body. <laughs> You get one hit point. Because <laughs> <laughs> I already burned 15, and I feel like this might be happening more than once today. Uh, and then, as a bonus action, he is going to turn that same hand over to the... Uh, uh, turn, his, turn his hand over to the troll, and as a bonus action... Uh, like starts using his uh, channel divinity for a vow of enmity. I swear by the blade of my sword, my enemy before me shall be no more. <laughs> As okay, Perhaps that. And that is that is Nix's turn. <laughs> okay, ending Nix's turn. Malcolm, you you sputter and spit awake. Also, your, that taste in your mouth was even worse. <laughs> uh, I have one point of exhaustion, correct? Yes, since it's your second time getting up. Alright. Just trying to keep track of that. No worries. Um, well then. So here's a real question. Um, I was unconscious, correct? Correct. 
I'm going to wake up and I'm going to see a troll, right? You don't know about the splash damage that happens from hitting this thing. I know, that's why I stabbed it with a sword. Yeah, yeah I thought so. Well, you would know, though, because you stabbed it with a sword, right? You missed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I missed. Badly. <laughs> One can only hope. Oh, look, missed I missed again. again. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus action, I can try again. I fired, then I missed. Then I fired, then I missed. Reloaded, and I fired, and I missed. Hey, you hit that time. We hit it then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I figured as much. It doesn't matter, I'm going to. For what it's worth, you do I know. Speak, yeah. I know. Oh, everyone takes 12 points of poison damage. Oh my god. Everyone? I'm down. And it takes 18 points of damage. Uh, not everyone, just uh, Malcolm, Ooh. Tamberlay, and Majorus. Just okay, me. God. That's the important I'm looking part. real bad. I'm down. Oh, I'm back in the fight. Oh, I'm out of the fight. Take that, you son of a... <laughs> you said it's looking real bad, though? Or it's not... It's starting to look bad. Yeah, it's, it's taking quite some damage. All right. Well, people are still blessed. Yay. All right. Um, ending Malcolm's turn. The troll. Mm. Um, yeah, he didn't take any of that type of damage this turn, so he gains 10 health and 10 HP. Yeah. That's why I was really disappointed that you changed it to lightning damage, Halford. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Forgot. He's... Um, and it's going to play with the new toy that showed up. And that is fair. Um, hasn't played with you yet. Uh, first one's only a 15. That will miss. Oh, let me make sure. Oh, never mind. So that sounds like a natural 20. No, no, no. no. Um, um, I needed to see if something recharged. It's puke breath. But does it have to use an actual action to use it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of its three. Again, I don't three. think that's normally how that works. Unless that's just like a buff you give to all your monsters. I lower other things and buff other things. Because I feel like there's a I feel like there's a reason why those tend to be actions. Uh, but anyway, go on. Mm -hmm. Also, I took away seventy hit points from this creature, so I think it's okay. Okay, I'll I'll you know what I'll accept that because <laughs> otherwise I feel like this fight is really bad for this level of a party. Yeah, no. <laughs> um. But it does not have the extra hit point, the HP to really be doing that right now. So it is. So that first hit, or that first attack will still miss. Uh, second attack, that is a 26 to hit. 26 will hit. And then the third attack is only a 17 to hit. And that will miss. Okay, so only one of the claws. Um, oh, I still get damage. Uh, 15 slashing. And 2 poison. Alrighty. Um, but it is going to stay there. Alright, so we are no longer blessed. <laughs> okay, bless. Alright. Down. Um, but in his turn, brings Tamberlake, Fez on deck. I don't know what to do now because if I hit it, it's gonna kill me. Well, go down swinging, I guess. Sorry, Malcolm. You're fine. Am I though? <laughs> yeah. I didn't hit it anyway. Yeah. Uh, um. Do you have reckless? I think I might. He just never uses it. <laughs> just forgets about it. I do. These fresh characters. Yeah, I guess I'll reckless. I will. I will admit that starting starting a new class uh, at a higher level does make it difficult to remember the lower level stuff. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um. Yeah. I guess I'll reckless. I mean, I'm gonna die anyway. It doesn't matter. I still missed. And I missed even worse. The air between your great axes just increased. Weef. Oh, look. No saving throws lost. Yet. 
right, are you um, there? I'm not moving. Okay. I mean, I'm going to die either way. It could miss. Right. Uh, out of those three's attacks, it missed Nyx twice. All right, so it definitely stays there. Fez, you're up. Hmm. Fuck it up, Fez. All right. Uh, this is empty, right? Yeah, that's yeah. It's all regulars. Yeah, all regulars. Fifteen. Cool. Uh, scorching ray. Okay. Each hit will be another splash. This fucking hurt. So if you hit all three times, you kill Malcolm. I believe that I will miss more often than I'll hit. Because <laughs> that usually oh, no. how it goes for me. <laughs> okay. There are pretty much no other healers left in your party now. We had other healers? <laughs> well... I know Spare the Dying. Well, Nyx's is, uh, Lay on Hands was, like, the only other heal. I mean, I will, I will point out that, because I'm not dumb... I do put Cure Wounds on my list, but also if I go down, I can't use it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I gotta hit this with fire damage or it's not gonna... Yeah. Oh no, I feel you. Uh, That's all a hit. three hits. Oh dear. Oh god. Uh, okay. <sighs> Does it go down at least? You gotta do the damage. Does it go down at least so we as go our down? ally dies? The third one put, takes it down. Oh shit. Hey, uh, success. Okay. So, because Damage. of that, the last one doesn't splash poison. Oh, look at so you. Two deaths. Like we're down. All right. Right. Um... <sighs> How much, how much damage does it damage. take? Is the question. Everybody else and Tamerlite takes eleven points of poison. Oh my god! I have one hit point left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Calm down. Literally have one hit point the left. Is still up. Thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. Bez, you know bonus action. Yeah, I'm gonna come up. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, Malcolm up? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So Malcolm is up. You you killed it. One hit point over. It's left HP. So if you would have done I'm actually you would have done two less, two less damage. Two less damage. Malcolm would have died. Malcolm, go ahead and roll a D eight for me. No. Oh. All right, now roll oh, a no. ten. Oh no! What's your strength score? <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's already low. It's an eight. <clears throat> Does he die? No. Uh, for this situation, okay. it doesn't work like that. Uh, but your strength is zeroed. Eins. Okay. Jeez, dog. Uh, your strength is zero. You can't move, your speed is zero. You can't lift, you can't walk, you can't stand. Okay. You can barely speak in, in short sentences. <laughs> I am proving your image in front of Nyx right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you guys see Malcolm's eyes kind of flutter open and basically your body says, yep, I'm done. Yeah, let's go first. High five. And I just raise a uh, hand up to you. Turn and I glare at Halvard. Walk over and slap his hand. <laughs> like, what? what the fuck is wrong with you? That's the second time you have almost got him killed. <laughs> I did not know he was down. Um, It doesn't matter if you're down, if he's down or not. You just keep walking into these situations without a plan or anything. And you get us all fucked up. To be fair, I did have a plan. 
and that was to kill it. Um, you didn't even know if it was dead or not. You didn't even bother to look. You just walked in there and got yourself beat up. Getting real tired of this. You need to use your head. Mithrinex is just going to look down at his body, shake his head, roll his eyes, and then lift up <laughs> uh, Malcolm's body. Fireman carry. Uh, I cast Cure Wounds like, on Malcolm just to make sure he doesn't <laughs> die. Okay. Well, he had the perfect. Um, well, he had all the opportunity to walk away. It's like yeah, I didn't heal. Oh, yeah. Healing word too, because I didn't roll for it last time. Correct. So Correct. twelve total. Like, apparently, now I'm even carrying his weight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, speaking of white, um, do you have an extra healing spell, anybody? Because I am hurting. Cure wounds. Thank you. Oh my god. Hey, that's better than nothing. So, how do you suppose we, um, provide evidence without, you know, hurting us? Mm -hmm. Uh, we were told one troll, yes. Right. So we better get paid extra for this. And I will walk over to the troll and carefully pop out a tooth. Alright. We'll go to the rotting troll. Actually, with the you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, his, Medrinus will just go ahead and do this because he didn't get to use the sword at all in this fight. Uh, as he bonus actions allows his uh, his shield to retract, pulls out his uh, sword of giant slaying and just walks <laughs> over to the just walks over to the rotting troll with his free hand and just slices off the head. That is... That is, um, that is inopportune, right? <laughs> Absolute tragedy. How do you think uh, I feel? <laughs> Big Red, uh, I, some, I call Big Red over to me. Are we going to loot the bodies? I said to the group. Is someone going to take the head? Uh, Put it in my bag. The head. I, ha I have to carry his weight. And just gestures back over. So you're cutting off the, the other troll's head? The, the rot troll's head. Oh, that got eaten. Oh, that did get eaten. You're okay. Yeah, it did get uh, eaten. Okay, not the head, then I guess the arm. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I can carry the arm. Yeah, you can carry the arm. I'm gonna have Big Red just start roasting the body so this way they can't come back. <laughs> just to make sure. Yep. Sounds good. Uh, good job, everyone. Um, so, uh, who's up for a nice meal when we return? I just dropped my troll. You did want me. Right. Um, there were some birds flying around. I'm... <laughs> it just, like, looks over at the rotting, the rotting uh, uh, arm of the troll. I may be desperate, but not that desperate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I said I wonder how troll tasted, I was assuming it was a normal troll rather than this. You don't like rotting troll or poison troll? No, I don't consider those delicacies exactly. Spicy. Before, before um, Big Red burns everything, can we, uh, like, is there, like, a hand or something on one of those, the, the, the poison troll? Since we have the arm of the rot troll, it's obviously different. I mean, there are. Yeah, you can take them if you want. 
I mean, would it kill us to do it? Depends how much health you have. Okay, yeah, never mind then. It's like you'll look over at Tamra like, why are you hesitating? Because I don't want to die. Oh, die, like, I'm brings here. Brings his hand over. Once again, the brand on his hand starts burning as he attaches it to your shoulder and it casts a cure wounds on you. <laughs> Would do it myself, but um, a pike isn't exactly fit for cutting things off. And then in, in that exact motion, he'll give you four of his lay on hands. <laughs> Is there like a log or something we can use to stuff the arm in? Uh, make a, what? Make I'm just make a perception check. I'm oh, sorry. Nix, was that for me or for Halvard? Yeah, that was that was for Amberlay. Do okay. you have courage now? I guess so. Yeah, sure. Um, and I'll go over and chop the hand off. All right. Four points of poison damage. All right. Um, All right, can we get back? Says, uh, <laughs> not really like a log, but splintered wood from the trees of the rock troll had taken down. There's stuff you can use and slightly fashion together. Hey, use the logs, put up the arm on top of the logs, and use that to carry it. Roger that. While you guys do that, I won't get away. I'm going to start burning the damn trolls. Unless you want them to be as is. No, burning is fine. I nod and I wait for everyone to leave. Trees. I don't want to run from a forest fire. I think Fez is the only one that could do this without setting a forest fire. Alright. So, the bodies of the trolls get taken care of and the rest of the group Fez eventually joins you all as you start heading back towards the town taking pretty much the rest of your traveling day in daylight as the forest starts to get darker and darker as time ticks on but about maybe half hour to spare of somewhat decent daylight underneath the trees you guys get to the edge of the town and you start to see plenty of different fur folks, not only in the town itself, but out in the trees foraging and spending their day. The Iron Hearth outpost sits roughly around the middle of this town itself, so you start to drag the arms of the dead trolls behind you as you guys move forward. The I give a friendly go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say I give a friendly wave to the fur bulls as we pass by. Most aren't really giving you guys too much of time of day. They're decently taller than you, and some of the kids are more interested in what you guys are doing and, and whatnot. And they'll return the waves. Everyone else is kind of more just vibing on their own level. But you guys get to the Iron Hearth Outpost, set up your arms outside look inside delilah is in there continuing on with her cleaning a fresh pot of stew has been procured and is waiting in the back for you guys to return and an individual is sitting down looking like he's reading a couple pieces of paper it's igor from the day prior metronix is still fireman carrying malcolm <laughs> With, with a clear look of annoyance on his face. We have returned. Ah, welcome back. Everyone alive? As he's kind of staring at the ass of Malcolm. Yep, he's just tired. Good battle, then. Yes, uh, we killed the troll. There was two of them, so it might have been a bit of a miscommunication. Um, I mean, technically, there was no miscommunication. The task set before you was to kill the troll that was harassing um, 
the Root Life Sanctuary. Well, um, right, my mistake. Well, either way, um, trolls are dead. Uh, one was a acid troll? I don't know. Uh, the other was a um, undead rot troll thing. Proof of kills? Um, arms, right outside. Kind of puts his paperwork together, rolls them up, stuffs them in his armor, and goes out to the door and looks at the kills. Ah. So, he points to the rot troll. Would have brought the head, but one of them ate the head of the other. Yes, um, the venom troll is the other troll that you were uh, dispensed with. And that one is the guardian of the sanctuaries. So, think of them as a deterrence for other creatures to destroy the area. Usually won't, won't attack unless attacked first. And uh, when were you planning to tell us that information? Well, this rot troll had been the problem, so we thought that the venom troll had been t either destroyed or dealing with another problem. Mm. Until we saw any sort of informa informative piece of information, I know that's a bit redundant, um, saying that the Venom Troll was dead, we couldn't really do anything. Uh, but, nevertheless, Rot Troll is taken care of. That's good. So, you will be compensated for your task, therefore. But let us take these inside. And he kind of grabs the rot troll arm as he's holding it out and admiring it as he walks through the door, putting it on the table inside. Uh. It, I look over to Delilah to see if she's okay with that. <laughs> it's not her place. No. Uh. Igor asks one of you to bring in the uh, the Venom Troll's arm. Hmm. As long as you grab I'll it by the hand, it. it shouldn't hurt you. Alright, thanks for the advice. Um, I'll go ahead and grab it. Okay. Putting it on the table, uh, Igor kind of like situates the open wound side of it on top of the Rot Troll's arm. So that way if anything does leak out, the other arm takes the hit. Mm -hmm. And he starts to do some measurements on the rot troll. Oh, all right, seems to be full adult portion of decay. Puts it at around three hundred years or so. Oh, dang, that's old. Well, these regenerating trolls tend to live a while. All right. Also, not like they can get cancer, or at least die. <laughs> <of cancer. laughs> oh, seems like a good kill. So, your reward, and he kind of like reaches underneath the table, and you're guessing he's probably pulling something from his boot before hmm. throwing down a pile of coin in front of you guys. I've got 350 coin here for you all. Thank you. And uh, who has the paperwork for the troll? Just uh, Madronix raises his free hand. It's a uh, looking over at uh, you, you can Malcolm's put body on his shoulder. <laughs> Shrugs, lets him drop to the ground. <laughs> 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 and like pulls out the paperwork. <laughs> Help him into a chair. Taking the paperwork from you, he goes over everything, kind of does a couple different check marks on some stuff, signs his name at the bottom, and takes out what looks to be a small little metal device and puts it on the paper, almost like a stamp. And as he does so, the paper starts to disintegrate from the Ironhurst symbol that was placed before it 
concludes. Cool. <laughs> That's certainly convenient. Very well. So, from what I know, I believe you guys have another task already set before you, but now that you've completed one, you do have the ability to pick up another if you'd like. Uh, should we? Um, I think we should wait for um, Malcolm to recover a bit so that he can get his say in. Wait, can you speak down there, Malcolm? Fuck you. Okay, no, we're good to make the decision now. Uh, do we want to go ahead and <laughs> choose one? Is there anything on the way to where we're going already? Well, mm. you all have been told what the available jobs are. It really hasn't changed since mm. you were first given them, so. They, um, we got some bander hobs. We got the undead creature one. We got the troll done. We got a hiding fee hiding fiend in Offenpoix, so that's that's out of the question right now. Um Banshees and Ulfazar and a Hobgoblin. Um But that's another continent, so we don't need to worry about that. Mm. I mean, do we wanna deal with your undead friends and then head on over to Ulfazar for the Banshees? Uh sure, why not? We also have the demons. Well, the, uh... The Hiding Fiends in Afmapoik. That's mm -hmm. kind of out of the way. Yeah, that's, uh, way down south there. Leader? I suppose I wouldn't be supposed to going back to Ulfasar. Ulfasar, alright as he starts to like reach inside his armor in different places before pulling out a piece of a couple pieces of paper and then like looking through them and then pulling out one all right so i believe it's a few banshees and ulfas are all right Just writes his name down a couple different things slides it over along the table past the two dead arms uh over to you with a quill for you to sign Madronix. It uh, takes the quill underneath, signs underneath it. Underneath the bad decisions. It's like, it, you know, like the, the room suddenly gets uh, 10 degrees colder <laughs> as he hears that. <laughs> Did you just endorse bad decisions? <laughs> and uh, just thinking to himself, the only bad decision was letting this one join. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't don't worry, Nick. Um, we could think of a better name later. Oh, no, that that one's in his head, but it's like right right uh, now right now Malcolm's Malcolm's not unconscious, but definitely useless body is definitely on his mind. <laughs> All right. So um, after signing the paperwork, he takes it back, and just like you had seen before, it vanishes and a new piece of paper is represented a bounty deed in which it has the names um the bounty that you have as well as its location which is um, outside the city or the town of grenland out of grenland correct okay bizarre Dear Ian, M U N D. G R E N M O N D. O N D. Okay. Got it. All right. Well, please. Delilah has a fresh stew on. I'll take these as he starts to handle the troll arms. You all deserve a good meal and a rest. But feel free to stay here as long as you like. Remember, there is no overarching timeline on these tasks but the sooner the higher the pay of course of course well it does take a while to travel cross country that it does and if you guys keep along this pace we can finish three more contracts promotion is in the works for you oh really oh, that's kind of fun three more of these these higher end contracts obviously if you 
If you took the lower end, it'd be closer to nine. But if, if mean, you do those banshees and you do the undead, one more mid-range contract and ends up promotion. Then you can rename yourselves. The room suddenly stops feeling cold. <laughs> I mean, we have time to think of it then. Like, I just want to imagine just like in the moment like Madrinex is just thinking to himself literally anything else but then accidentally <laughs> makes that the team name <laughs> <laughs> yeah so what literally anything else <laughs> so taking it upon yourselves if you all were to travel there by a horse you'd get to uh, uh, you would get to Ertensome in about three weeks. And Walken? Uh, about twelve. Gee, three months? No. Oh god, that's like four months. Right. I think we're going to look into getting some horses. Well, if you go down to the town of Dravine a little bit to the south uh, plenty of horses there that they use for uh, like midway between Lonotov and uh, Aflapoik to rest and recoup horses and swap them out I'm sure they'll be able to set you up with something perfect uh, is there a chapter house there? in Dravine? Uh, no The closest chapter house to Dravine is going to put you at Kido, which is a little bit to the east of Dravine. And uh, the only reason I'm asking about that is, uh, do we get like, uh, since we're, we are part of the Iron Hearth already, kind of, sort of, um... Do we get discounts on horses or anything that might like help the chapter house out? Or do you have horses that we could, you know, check out or borrow so we don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on horses for five people? The paladin just is once again reminded of how frustrating it is to not be level five when traveling. <laughs> Unfortunately, the chapter house in Keto, they're not in a position to allow any discounts to any horses, especially in a different town. And since we don't have a chapter house in um, Dravine itself, we don't have as much pool there. So you can try dropping the fact that you work there and you probably have to show the brand, but unfortunately I can't guarantee anything. Yeah, I just thought I'd ask. I wasn't expecting much. So, this one is Dravine, and this one's Keto. Okay. But on foot, you're looking at about two weeks to travel to Dravine. Alright. Alright. Well... You all have a wonderful night. Thank you for a task well done. Hopefully, and he kind of points towards Malcolm. That one rests up a bit and is feeling a little bit more chipper. Good mm. job. And with that... Medronix turns to Tamberlay. I'm not feeding him. <laughs> Thank you, Igor. Uh, we really appreciate that. With a nod, he takes the arms and heads out the door. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a bath. I gotta get a troll off of me. Yeah, I'm gonna go clean up myself. Alright. That sounds like an excellent idea. As everyone just walks, out of, the, walks out of the outpost, leaving. Yeah, Malcolm. I thought about that too. It's like. <laughs> 
be there when I get back. It'll be fine. If so, Don't worry, guys. I'm not going anywhere. You're holding the chair now. I, no, no, no. I don't think I'd be able to. I think I'd be sliding off of that chair. <laughs> um, Delilah will take care of you, Malcolm. I have enough strength to drool and slide. <laughs> You'll tilt your, your chin upwards, pour stew down your throat, and, and caress your throat to swallow. <laughs> she doesn't realize how hot it is because I can't complain. Now I'm taking fire damage. <laughs> you guys come back and I'm dead. Is he unconscious well, again? The first time. <laughs> oh. No, she's just going to give you a good berry, dude. Makes sense. And then she just she drowned her. Because <laughs> she's still covered in blood. <laughs> oh, she pressed it to take the shit out of <laughs> um, okay, so is there anything that you'd like to do in this town before going to bed? Not mm. if I can't buy rashes, no. Uh, for how long we'll be staying here, I'm gonna go into the forest and see if I can scrounge up some food. Okay. Well, how long are you guys staying here? Are you leaving the next day? Um... I don't know whether the, how the rest of the party feels, but um, Halvard would insist on leaving the next day for uh, um, the horse town south. Oh, then we are staying for a week. <laughs> well, it's more like this. Do you want me to forage for food and get some meat? Or do you want to stick with rations? That's my problem. I don't have enough rations to get to this town if it's going to take two weeks. I do not have enough food. Like I can, I can get food for myself just fine. If but you guys ask, Delilah can give you guys uh, twenty good berries. Oh, all right. I don't think they last like a week. Well, they disappeared after one day. Not hers. Oh, you special. They're technically, beet her berries stay delicious. They're technically, beet <laughs> nourishment. Oh, all right. 20 each? No, 20 all together. Oh. No, that'll, that'll be that'll be that'll be quite the haul. Just like, yeah, she's just like here <laughs> bleh, and <it> just <laughs> barfs up and you, and you, a hundred beads of nourishment. Just a burlap I mean, sack full of beads of nourishment. I could also hunt for myself as well. Let's two of us who are self sufficient. Oh by the way, um how are we dividing up this money? Uh, seven, three, fifty. Oh. There's what five of us, so <laughs> seventy each. <laughs> Sorry, that last exclamation was a joke, but I feel like that would also be a character. <laughs> seventy each, it is. Right. Yep. Um, is there? Oh God, this place is so. Backwoods. Um, if you want, we can stay here for a day. Actually, we're, we're exactly in the front of the woods. woods. Yes, I understand that. Um, anyway, um, is there some place that I can buy a bow? Yeah. And arrows. I mean, I wouldn't want you to have to go out and kill birds for them or anything, but easy enough to do. Okay. Bez and Nyx, yeah. uh, on top of your 70, add 10. The only problem is... Because I'm going to give each of you 10. The only problem is, uh... It, they only have longbows here. Oh. Of course they do. Because they are... Aren't those, like, seven feet tall? What was that? Aren't longbows, like, six to seven feet tall? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's why all the, you know, eight and nine foot tall fur bulks are only using longbows. <laughs> I will find a toy shop and see if I can find it. <laughs> <laughs> The kids are even bigger than you are, dude. They are. Damn kids. Give me an investigation check. Ugh. I gotta find anything. I mean, a 16? Okay. You find a light crossbow. 
Okay. Okay. Um, is it still too big for me, though? Light crossbow's fine. Okay. I'm and how many bolts? To... Right, go ahead. 20 bolts. And how much? And to make this easy, because this is a trade <laughs> town, they, will, they oh. will trade for gold. Um, let me see what I've got in my bag. If you just want to straight up buy it, it is going to be 30 gold. Yeah. She drops I've a got a purse, bends down, cleavage starts showing. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not like that. Um, I have a pet mouse that's probably dead because it's been in my bag of holding. Yep. Um, uh, I've got not anything really. Uh, oh, I've got a troll tooth. Would that excite him? Or would that piss him off? You show it to him? Oh, God. Yes? Okay. 20 gold. And the tooth. Um, I'll take it. Alright. Okay. That's me. Anybody else want to do anything before we want to bed? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, could I go about and procure myself, um, another, um, ten golds worth of charcoal and incense and stuff? Yeah, easy enough to do. All right. Thank you. And then they're really confused, like, are you sure you don't want the good stuff? As they just point to the weed basket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, the good stuff is the mushroom pile. <laughs> oh, mm, well, when in Rome, no, no. Well, you could tell us you were just there. <laughs> you know, you just do as the Romans. So, dick trees. Um, hmm. you know, I'll roll for it. Roll for dick trees. And everyone pays together in the same place, because I'm really about that. All right, high, I do it. Low, I don't. All right, I'm doing it. All right, how many mushrooms do you want to buy? Um, just one, because I'm curious about the experience, and that's about it. Um, heavy trip or low trip? Uh, I'll go, I'll go with the low trip, since it's an introductory thing. Okay. Actually, no. Halvard would go for a strong, um, um, a strong trip, because, um, he's all about that life. Okay. Two gold. Your character's in drugs, jeez. <laughs> Watch, we all wake up the next morning, and, like, uh... And Halvard is just gurgling at the mouth with <laughs> foam. Well, shit, now we've got two of them. <laughs> uh, so two gold for the mushroom. And All right. they would say you need to do it after a full meal and a large water skin of water. Got it. I will make sure to prepare both. Or I'll make sure to have the full meal and I'll prepare the water skin. Yep. Although actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, and I think we kind of hand-waved it during the desert... But Madrinix is going to buy some spare water skins. Okay. <laughs> He'll buy. You know what? Just because that's how I did it last campaign, I'll just buy four. <laughs> yeah, easy enough to do. Uh, for all four, it's one gold. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just fill mine up. Uh, Fez, did you want to do something? Yeah, uh... See, can I hunt? Yeah. Alright, so what time is it right now? Is it afternoon or is it's, it. You we... guys came in just before sunset. Alright, so I'm gonna go turn into a wolf and they'll go start hunting. Okay. Go ahead and give me a survival check with the wolf stat. Or, you know, you can use your own stats. Just because of keen hearing and smell, yeah. right? You're able to pick up a couple rabbits for yourself. Altogether three. Altogether three. Alright. Bring them back. As I do, uh, I go to speak to her. 
could you do something to make these last a few days for us? To Delilah? Who are you asking that from? Delilah, like, is it possible to make these last? Um, jerky. Yeah. She's gonna tell you she can cook it, but that's about it. They don't really have access to salt or anything like that for preservatives. And if they ever do hunt meat, they only hunt for as much as they're gonna use. So they don't they don't readily have on stock stuff for preserving things longer than later that day to cook it. How long will this last us? Uh, if she cooks it and dries it as much as she can, it'll probably stay for about four days. Right. Thank you very much, then. If you would. Yep. Yeah. She'll go ahead and take care of that. Uh, then I go back to my room. Each rabbit would be about one day's worth of ration of meat. So. Is that yeah. just for the group? That would be just for you. It's, it's only rabbit. Okay. But you can put down an extra three rations. All right, anybody else? Malcolm, you want to drool a little bit more? No, I'm good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I already passed out. Gotcha. That, that beat of nourishment really just hit the spot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the chair? It took all, took all of my energy I mean, to, and do, eventually, to get that down. And eventually that drool will stop burning your flesh. <laughs> Probably the next day. Someday. That's why uh, Delilah, after he fell asleep, put him face down in the uh, in his bed. Yeah. Oh no, this is this is why you don't want Madrinix healing you guys. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> it just makes everything taste awful for the whole day. All right, guys. So with that, you all have narrowly succeeded once again in surviving an encounter. Hey, why do I have a feeling this is going to be common? <laughs> Well, it's two for two so far. But honestly, I'm just really sad that this is like the second combat in a row where, because of how things went, uh, Malcolm basically didn't get to do much of anything at all. <laughs> well, you damaged a troll. So there's that. <laughs> More than once. There we go. He damaged a troll. Twice? Three times? Yep, yep. Two times. Two. I'm just thankful I got to do stuff to this session. Uh, <laughs> and in those and in those two times, I did as much damage as Halvard and more than Medrinix. Ah, <laughs> uh, just saying. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry. Who had to get up again? Uh, I'm sorry. Who didn't? Who who probably could have gotten fucked up more if I hadn't had actually damaged the troll because you weren't able to get your hands on it. I get knocked down. Yeah, I get up again. I'm sorry. Who went down at the first session? Who no went down at the first right. round? Second round, technically. Just saying. This surprise round. Are we long resting? Yes, you guys can click on long rests. Um, Malcolm, your exhaustion and your strength deduction go away. All right. By the way, how was the trip? Are you doing it that night? Uh, yeah, it's after a water skin and, like, full meal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I will DM you your trip. Got it. Um, okay. But with that, we'll go ahead and end the session there with the morning coming to you all as you guys get ready and to head towards Trevi. Nice, nice. All right, guys, so any questions? How are you alive? Luckily, well, somewhat unluckily, you got in the middle of someone else's hunt, <laughs> and they were able to do 80 points of damage to the rock troll. Oof. So. Yeah. Yeah. They said, was... The Venom troll, the Guardian? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, we killed, we killed it. We killed the guardian. Yes. We killed the guardian. Did we know about this guardian troll? Nope. nope. They, they didn't think it was alive since this other troll had invaded this area and was causing them problems. I think that's the reason why the guardian troll didn't kill me. Yep. When it had yep. the chance. Yep, it was going to just pass by you and jump on the rock troll. Sucks for it. But now that there's no guardian, you guys might get more jobs here. Hey, you know, it's sort of like how mechanics sort of like t um, fix like or set it up so that your car breaks down like um, in a certain player. way. Yeah. Fix it. Job security. Fix it enough to work out of the wildfire, you know, burn away the old and bring in the new. Alrighty, guys. So if you do have any questions, feel free to message me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If I don't talk to you all before then, you guys have a great week and we shall meet back up on Sunday. Got it. Oh, thank you. Have a good night, guys. Bye. You too. Thank you for those that were with us. Have a great night. We'll see you next Sunday. <laughs>